Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 Honda CBF concept, new CB900F, new CB750F, inline 4 cylinders first look review, and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. Honda has decided to drop the veil on its latest CBF Concept motorcycle. The CBF Concept was supposed to make its debut at the Osaka Motorcycle Show and Tokyo Motor Show in this month, but due to COVID-19 outbreak, Honda has been forced to reveal the Concept motorcycle on an online platform. The CBF Concept is a throwback special that pays homage to the Honda CB900F naked motorcycle from the early 1980s. As a result, the design is retro, the bike features a classic round headlamp, a flattish fuel tank, and a simple tail section. The matte silver paint scheme with blue and gray stripes look rather cool. The megaphone designed exhaust is another retro touch. While the design of the bike is a few decades old, everything else is modern, the CBF concept features the same modern mechanicals as the company's leader-class Neo Sports Cafe bike, the CB1000R. The chassis looks similar and the concept features the same upside-down front forks and a single-sided swing arm along with a monoshock at the rear wheel. Powering the CBF concept is the same 998 cubic centimeters inline four-cylinder engine as the CB1000R. In the CB1000R, the engine develops 143 brake horsepower and 104 newton meters of torque, and it's paired to a six-speed transmission. At the moment, Honda hasn't confirmed if they plan to put the CBF concept into production. However, we think it looks pretty cool, and putting the CBF into production won't really hurt a manufacturing giant like Honda, even if the bike makes little to no sense economically. The bodywork is said to be inspired by the Honda CB900F, from the late 1970s and early 1980s, and to our eyes, it is a pretty close approximation of the popular street bike's look. Channeling its retro-modern tastes, it is interesting to see Honda once again tapping the CB1000R platform for its design, perhaps because the Japanese brand has long ago broken even on the engineering that goes into the motorcycle's parts. In the same way that Honda Motor Europe loves to riff on the CBR600 series, Honda HQ in Japan loves its 998 cubic centimeters sport bike variations. We can't fault them too much for that though, because the Honda CB1000R is a solid package and lends itself quite well to some interesting design experiments. It is not clear where Honda intends to take the CBF concept, but the Japanese brand does seem interested in exploring what other variations it could make FO the CB line of motorcycles. According to Honda representatives, the concept pays tribute to both the CB750F and the CB900F of the late 1970s and early 1980s, with the exterior styling certainly doing a good job of broadcasting this intent. At first glance, the basic motif is largely similar to these bikes with boxy lines and an angular tail creating prominent exclamation points in the bike's DNA. However, some revisions have been made in the name of better aesthetics with the gas tank and the bodywork meshing much better than before, and the taillight piece has been reshaped to help it work better with the angled rear. No visible turn signals are present, but the front mudguard has been shortened and simplified for duty on the concept. The front fork still has its dual horns, and the paintwork is a throwback to yesteryear with light metallic colors and accent stripes. Performance however is delightfully modern, with a water-cooled 998 cubic centimeters for cylinder engine supplying power to the rear wheel. All of this muscle is funneled there through a six-speed manual gearbox, but Honda chose to keep the engine's horsepower figure close to the vest so it is unknown just how much performance is indeed packed into the concept. The suspension used here is an inverted front fork and it is mated to a single side rear suspension arm which is attached to a mono backbone steel frame. The CBF doesn't skimp in the braking department either, with huge front and rear drilled disc brakes providing serious stopping power. Honda did not reveal if it intends to transform the concept into a serious production model, 